Salut! If you're watching this video today, it's because one of your EBIs this time for your assessment is accuracy. So, to make sure you improve, watch this short video on tips and skills about how to improve your accuracy in your French and complete all the activities in this video to master EBI 1. Okay, so first, we're going to look at some tips for you for EBI 1. Now, this is an easy EBI to conquer. You can improve your accuracy, but it's something you need to do throughout every module you're learning. So look at these three steps. This is what you need to do during the module in your normal lessons. When you've got your revision homework to revise for your writing assessment and then another tip for during the assessment. So step one. During the module, I want you to gas your vocabulary learning. What does that mean? Well, it means when you learn some vocabulary for a vocab test that you've looked at in class, you need to remember to gas it. That means you always need to learn the gender. Is it un or une, le, la, in front of it? Make sure you know the gender of it. Second, accents. English people think they can miss off accents. You can't. Think of Beyonce. She's got an E with an accent. Without that, she is merely Beyonce. Accents matter. They completely change words. So when you're learning vocabulary, learn the accents as well. Make sure you learn the word with the accent on it. And spelling. When I memorise, you've got obviously the activities you need to type in. Learn the spelling of a word off by heart. This is particularly tricky for French because a lot of the time they're spelt very differently to how they're said, but you need to learn the spelling. Step number two, when you're revising, you'll get a revision homework where your teacher will give you a long list of questions and some of them will be your real assessment. So for this revision homework, what you need to do is create a best draft. So look at the list of questions your teacher's given you and make like the best answer you possibly could using your French skills and your book and make it perfect so you've got the ideal answer then cover it up and try and write it out again and then look at what you've got and then cover it and try and write it again and only move on to the next question when you can copy it perfectly including spellings including gender including accents that's the way to revise if you do that, I promise you that your next assessment, not only will EBI 1 not be on there, but your teacher will be really happy and you'll get a level you'll be really proud of. The final step, step three, during assessment, proof, read your work. A lot of people spell the same things wrong every single time and they've already written it and they've written it out five times in red pen and then I mark the next assessment and there it is again. So proofread your work what did you get wrong last time have you mastered it now think about it and that's where we can come to our next challenge what I used to do when I had my assessments is I'd have a word I'd have like um, a post-it note and all the words I misspelled I used to write the French and the English out on the post-it note and then I'd stick it up by my desk and then by the time the next assessment came around or like the next essay when I was a bit older I'd look at the words I misspelled or I didn't know and then I'd make sure I put them in the next one. So create a list of words, stick them up somewhere. Stick them up somewhere you're gonna see. Stick them on your mirror, um, especially if you're not ugly, if you like looking in your mirror, stick them on your mirror, and then every time you look in the mirror, you'll see those words and it will remind you. So guys, those are my free tips and extra challenge. We're not quite done yet. Voilà, un petit activité. Donc je vais expliquer en français. Il faut écrire directement dans les cahiers roses pour moi. Écrivez dans les cahiers roses. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Alors, il y a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 phrases ici. Et dans chaque phrase, il y a une erreur en français. Voilà, il y a des erreurs ici. Il faut regarder les erreurs et il faut corriger les erreurs dans vu cahier rose. Par exemple, numéro 1 dit, elle est très petite. Now, this sounds absolutely fine, and this is what I said before. French can sound very difficult to how it's spelled. So, elle est is not spelled like this. It should be E-S-T. 
so you need to correct it with a T. And then tre, I see this so many times. What's wrong with this? You need to have an accent going down. This is called an accent grave, up to down. If you do it the other way, it's still wrong. And then what's wrong with this? This works fine. Elle est très petite, because we're talking about L. She's feminine, so our adjective needs to be feminine. Et voilà, elle est très petite. Voilà. Pour question 2, question 3, question 4 et question 5, corrigez les erreurs. Put me on pause now. Have a look at 2, 3, 4 and 5. When you think you've done all you can, and you might not get all of these, that's fine. When you think you've done all you can, restart the video and I'll go through the answers so you can see these common mistakes that I've picked from all of your work for years and years and years. Allons mes petits, put me on pause. Let's say a minute per question. So I've done the first one for you. Four minutes maximum. Quatre minutes. Bon courage. Allez, on y va. Restart the video when you're ready for our answers. Hello les enfants. Right guys, if you're listening to me now, it means um, you've, had, you've done your best, you had your four minutes at these four questions. Let's go for our answers to see what we've got. So we did the first one together. Words in French don't sound like how they're spelled, which is why you might be getting EBI1. So elle est très petite. Voilà. Numéro 2, je dis on et j'ai aim le foot et le rugby. This is such a common mistake. Everyone gets je and J mixed up. I used to do it myself. I remember my teacher shouting at me about it. So what's the difference? Je means I, J means I have. So you need to swap them around. J'ai 12 ans, because in French you say I have 12 years, to say you're 12 years old. Et j'aime le foot et le rugby. J'ai 12 ans et j'aime. They sound really similar. J'ai, j'aime, je, j'ai, j'aime. But you need to know the difference between them. Alors, numéro 3. J'aime regarde les billards à la télé. This is such a common mistake. Number three. This is fine. The j'aime is perfect. It's this bit here, regarde. Regarde means watch, okay? So it's je regarde, I watch. But with j'aime, it's not j'aime regarde. How do you say it? J'aime regarder. If you use two verbs together, our second, the unchanged form of the verb. What do we call an unchanged form of the verb? An infinitive. So it should be j'aime regarder, which says I like to watch or watching. Les billards à la télé. Now, listen out for those accents. The A means that, and then à la télé. You can hear the accent going up. So when you see this accent going up on an E, it means like an E sound. Télé, télévision, and there you go. Again, think back to my rules. When you learn a word, learn it with the accents on, and then you'll never forget it. All right, four and five are getting tougher. Lots of you do this one, and I've seen a few of these in my time. All right, let's have a look. So, j'aime ça parce que c'est amusant. Now, again, if you read that out, that sounds like a really nice French sentence, but what's wrong with it? J'aime is J apostrophe A I M E. It should be je aime, but you can't have two vowels touching. This word here, ça, is such an important word. It means it, that, this. You don't spell it like this. That says ca. J'aime ca. You don't say that. You say j'aime ça. And to get that s sound, the C needs a little tail on it. This is called a cedilla. J'aime ça. And then this one, parce que. This is how it's said, but this is how you spell it. Parce que. It means because, but it's written as two words. C has got the E, the C with the apostrophe. So many times I've seen this. If I had a pound for every time. J'aime, I definitely wouldn't be a teacher anymore. J'aime ça parce que c'est. And then amusant. It sounds like a Z, but it's an S. J'aime ça parce que c'est amusant. That's a lovely sentence. All right, the last one. This is the toughest one. So if you haven't got anything with, from this, I'm not surprised. The normalement. It's got an E in it. Normalement. Now you don't say the E. Normalement. But you need to write it. Jelly. So many people write jelly. This isn't how you say I go. Remember our verb ch 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 changes. And if you want to know how aller changes, you've got that awful song. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va. I'll put a link in the description to that. So the verb changes and it is je vais. I go. And then I see this so much. You can't have a plus le. They don't go together. They change the o. Donc, normalement, je vais au cinéma, je have an accent on it, Mr. Ennis, avec mon ami. Now, I know why people do this, because mon means my. 
but if it's plural, it changes. You say mon père, my dad, ma mère, my mom. And if you have two brothers or sisters, you say mes frères, mes soeurs. And I imagine you've got more than one friend, or maybe not some of you. So for plural, it changes to me, mon mami, masculine, feminine, plural. And this is what you should have. So well done if you've corrected some of these. If you didn't get them all, guys, that's absolutely fine. These are common mistakes that people make. Hopefully this has helped you out to remember this and uh, what you'll need to do for next time. Alors, mes petits, so your next steps, they're all down here. To make sure you don't get this EBI again, we've got our three steps that I talked about in the first slide and your extra challenge. So do these for next time and you won't get EBI one again. Your teacher will be really, really happy and you'll improve. That's what it's all about. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope it's been really, really helpful. Any questions about it, email your teacher directly. Alors, merci, au revoir.